Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going over to the tow yard with a subscriber to possibly buy two more cars, but we'll see. You ready to go check out this tow yard? Yep, let's do it. We're over at the tow yard. I just paid for some cars that I bought. Man, you saw some stuff you already. There's some nice stuff up in here. Yeah, I mean, you're from Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, man. so all the stuff that's in here would be rusted where you're at. For sure. Ride it out, rust it. Yeah, so. yeah, you haven't seen anything yet. Wait till we go to the back. Oh. Is it? Yeah. Mm hmm. It's straight right here. Yeah, I mean, most of the stuff is pretty, uh, pretty straight. But I mean, he has these old pickups like this that have been trying to convince him to part out for so long and uh he never wants to really sell anything but these things are all super mint i mean they could all be turned into like hot rods or even like just be parted out for like emblems that are on them whole row of camaros watch out for rattlesnakes over here for sure and all this brush well, i mean you you could walk just watch out for nails and rattlesnakes Dang, but yeah a bro, bunch that's a, uh... I think that's an Impala right there. That's a, um, I gotta go. Mm -hmm. Well, we can go to the next aisle over. I mean, look at these things. This thing is so cool. There is literally so many good parts on this. It's not even that bad. It looks like the bed is unbolted, but these beds are extremely hard to find. Feels and looks really straight, but then inside, we have pretty much complete interior minus the bench seat the fuel tank's still there i mean this is this is cool and they all have like super cool patina like this i kind of want to buy this from him and then buy like make it a six door because these are pretty rare these old f350s yes. with a 7.3 that are a dually crew cab i was just about to say you got the dually back in yep. yeah yeah these things are really hard to find but this one the frame horns are messed up and getting a frame would be almost impossible. The more random trucks over here. This one still has the engine in it. Even, is that the the uh, oil carb or the uh, oil filter on top? It has the horn. Look at that. Man, these things, it's probably still six volt. And we have a, a 10 right here with a good grill uh, pretty close to a good grill it has a little bit no actually it might have a little dent right there but man these things there's another one over there we got an older ranger like a really old ranger i was almost thinking about buying this hearse right here but then it's it's too new of one the older ones they have like glass side windows and they're all like bubbled okay. but i mean that one's pretty pretty decent condition but it's, metal still here. it's full of, yeah, and all the chrome trim. Trim still here. But yeah, look at this roof. It's all metal and it's not messed up. But yeah, if this was a newer one or a, an older one, I'd definitely buy it because the older ones have the cooler front ends. And this thing, I have really wanted to get this and turn it into something cool. The whole back of it was wood. Actually, the, the sides and everything on this thing were wood. This thing is super cool, but rebuilding all that wood stuff would probably be a very challenging process. Everything's just been sitting outside for a really long time. There's an older Saab. I think those had like the two cylinder in it. It's like full of a bunch of stuff. Oh, there's a nice truck right there. Oh, there's, yeah, there's a there's a Cummins I bought from him. Oh man, it has a good wheel on this side. Hell yeah. This thing right here also has some super cool patina, but it's a little bit rough. I really like the doors. You can kind of see the old logo that used to be on them. The fenders look really cool. The roof is like caved in. And uh, then he has like boxes of 350s 
and V8s and all kinds of different stuff. There's also this old Cherokee right here, which is really cool. Kind of rusty and that whole core panel's caved in. Once stuff gets in here though, it usually gets some damage from moving, you know, getting moved around with the forks, other cars getting, you know, moved into it. Yeah, oh. Yeah, see that? What were you talking about? Impala. Yeah. And then uh, he has all these old diesel engines. Yeah, I mean, these things are like, all this stuff people are looking for. I really, I like the patina on this truck right here. And I kind of like that old bus over there. That there's, bus looks like a prison bus. There's just too much. No, that was like a motorhome bus. Oh. Yeah, no, there's there's just too much stuff. I don't have enough money to buy all this stuff. And throughout the yard, he has tons of these older beetles. Like, I mean, tons. There's probably like 50 of these things just chilling in various locations. And all of them have decent parts here and there. I mean, stuff's messed up on each one, but for the most part, they're, uh, they have lots of usable parts. And also mice love to uh, turn the seats into uh, nests. Look at this. Fox feels good. Oh, it's smoked on the side. This thing. This caddy's worth some money. This almost looks like an old like dragster or something. Or maybe a motorcycle. Oh, what what is going on here? It's like a little trike. Like an old school trike. But like it's homemade with a GM like shortened axle that's crazy the little bar and everything <laughs> this little tiny engine like i want this continental and i want that but the bad thing is i don't think that has any gloss in it anymore that trim still good, right? yeah it has all the trim it has all the emblems it has the 455 in there this car is like a desirable one because it has the big block in it And I, I think some of those came manual. I don't see a manual. That's a Malibu. Mm -hmm. That's so bad. This old pickup box for a Ford truck. Look at that thing. It's in actually pretty good condition. The rest of it is rusting away though. The tub for the front. Oh, it was a trailer. Interesting. I think I just seen a Plymouth Road right there. Over here, hopefully we don't, we don't get bit. I think all of these, now this, is this one? This is an inline six. This right here, two door. Man, this is sketchy. I don't think it's a Roadrunner. What is it? You see an emblem? No, anything on the dash? Man, the interior is still in here. No. Oh, here's something. It's a Villiant. Villiant. Yeah. Okay. It's hit on that side a little bit, but. Yeah, shit. If that's a rotor, there's a. Is that a GTO? That Rizzo don't look that bad. Huh? That's a GTO, right? That grill. Is it? It's a convertible. That's, I'm pretty sure that's a GTO. Mm -hmm. Convertible. Mm -hmm. The V8, man, the valve cover's rusted away. Yeah, Pontiac, GTO. Damn, this a mud, bro, that's a Mustang, bro. That? 
Hell yeah. No, it's not. You don't think that's a 68 Mustang? I don't think, I think that's a, I don't think so. That back end was like a 68. Other car I really want to do is one of these older Continentals, but I think these are all his and he doesn't want to sell them, unfortunately. This one looks like that fender got pushed in. Last time I saw it, it wasn't that bad. I think it wasn't that bad, but there's another four of these and he doesn't want to sell any of them. And uh, most of them are pretty rusty on the cord. The cool thing is they all have nice chrome and they have the light back there. I mean, that tail light's broken, but man, look, 87 was the last time it was driven, man. I want to pull that plate off and go drive my truck around with it. it. Has the Lincoln emblem on the back. The trunks on these things are huge. I mean, you can literally put a bed in there and sleep in it. The grill on this one's pretty messed up in the whole side. Oh, I never even saw this side. <sighs> I have always looked at this car from the other side and never even saw, seen any of this. Look at that. That's crazy. They don't take side impacts very well. 400. That's got a 400 in it. Oh, look at this. Man, I didn't know, I didn't know they used fiberglass back then. Oh, look at the, the little flare thing. This thing's kind of cool. What is this? I can't believe they used fiberglass back then. But another cool patina Ford. Look at this thing. Grill looks good. Hood isn't bad. I mean, there's a lot of good parts. I like this little marker emblem. It has like a checker pattern. And I really, I really like the like turquoise in like the rusty patina. It's like my favorite out of all the patinas. Man, the dash doesn't even look that bad in here. It's not even like, look at this old cologne. <laughs> Some old CDs over there, like a whole folder of them. Look at that. Yeah, this is kind of a, a nice truck. How many miles did it have on it? 6,000 miles? Are you kidding me? What? This thing was like rusty fender, but I mean, sick. There ha it had to have rolling over. There's no way. That's an inline six one. It is a Falcon though. They're not bad. This is a... like an Impala, man. Mm -hmm. Only if it was a two-door. Well, that's a two-door right there. A Fairlane. Oh man, this one's worse than one right here. Look at that. You see that cross on there, bro? Yeah. Oh, this is, oh, this side's good. Yeah. More parts beetles. All of them are pretty much, you know, something's wrong with them here and there, but man, they have so many good parts. I've always wanted to build like an older beetle too. There's another one there. So another old, you know, there's a Wagoneer, two Wagoneers right next to each other. And then we have, I think that's a Scout right there. Actually a whole row of Scouts. And then there's another Wagoneer all over there and the old semis that he has. There's one, see that's like a delivery van, but all the old semis he has, there's so many cool ones. There's one that I really want to get and like put, like look at this old GMC semis. That one's cool. It looks like it has a Cuda on the back of it. I think that thing has a Cuda on the back. Oh, that's a, that's an Impala, right? Yeah, Impala. Yeah, this whole row. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two door. Impala. Oh, it's a two door? Dang. What engines it got in it? No engine. It might have been a V8 then. Nobody's gonna pull out a V6. 
Yeah, that's not bad. Huh? Does it? Why do you think that? Where? Right here. Oh! Damn! Caprice! Is the engine still in there? Yep. Dang! Man, that's not even that bad. Too bad it's a four door. Right. If it was a two door, this thing would be gone. This thing's straight. I, mm -hmm. I, can't, the as well. I can't believe it has the M phone still on it. It's missing the whole side, yeah. No, this one right here isn't bad. I bet you this is a. Oh, yeah. No, it's a 327. 327. Yeah, that's some nice gels up in here though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this wouldn't be bad to fix up because it is a V8 car. Actually, here is a 327 right here. Is it? Yeah. Just fuck, just whoop, right in there. Be good to go. This is another cool patina truck. Look at this. Nice Ford. I really like this logo on the front of it. I've never seen it. it. Looks like a like a check engine light, like the first check engine light with a like a gear on it. <laughs> but yeah, that patina is really cool. I really like the color. It used to be. It looks like it was like a two tone. These old Chevy rollbacks that he keeps around are super cool. I love these grills where it's just like open, but it kind of looks like the Chevy emblem. Just really cool. And then I really like how the hood like swoops back. But yeah, these things aren't, I mean, this one's pretty rusty. I mean, all of them have a little bit of rust here and there. This one's all full of boxes. There's a mouse nest right there. Look at all of these old, look at these. Super cool. Bunch of Camaros right there. This old AMX, this wing is kind of cool how it's made. It just like follows the body line there. And then it's like super aggressive. Look at that. It looks really weird though. It has, the, <laughs> looks like it has like the Firebird emblem on it with the fire, but it's AMX. <laughs> then the inside, man, pretty much everything's there. It's manual. Got some more Cadillacs right here. This is like where they didn't have the suicide doors. I like the suicide door ones better. I feel like they just look way better with the suicide doors then we have another one over there whoo look at that then there's one right there as well we have another flatbed old truck with the old bathtub man these bathtubs are worth a bunch of money because they scrapped pretty much all of them especially if they have the legs my parents have one that's painted still and it has the legs. When was the last time you saw some old city cabs? Yeah, look at the trunk space in this thing. Crazy how big the cars used to be compared to what they are now. I mean, you barely could fit a bag of groceries in your trunk. You, I could put a whole set of Hellcat wheels in this thing. Then we have another one. Look at that, Fleetwood. And look at that delivery van right there, that thing. Looks pretty cool. Not as old, but an old Ford. This one is probably the best one that he has. I almost think he said he, he would sell me this one, but it doesn't have a trunk. I mean, look how big the trunk is. It's huge. It's so crazy how big that trunk is. I could, I could probably almost lay in there sideways. And then this one doesn't have as bad a quarter rust on it. It's a pretty clean car. The fender up there is uh, kind of damaged, which is unfortunate. It doesn't have the rear tail lights. Both of them are broken. But for the most part, oh, the fender's kind of pinched. I don't want to mess up the fender anymore than it already is. It has some super old mail trucks right here. Right hand drive. Look at that, Jeeps. You know those are old. Oh, look at this. It's all messed up right there, this old Buick, but it has those old fender vents in it. It has a whole line of probably 10 of these Cadillacs in a row. Look at that. 
and they all look really straight. And then there's an El Camino right there. Air trove of like old parts that you always needed, but you never could find. Look at this. Whoo. Nice patina. These hoods, they're always all hard to open. But yeah, look at that. Fender's kind of messed up. Rear quarter's kind of messed up. This old patina truck up here, the roof has been cut off, but man, and it's super smashed up. So cool. Another Continental right here. I love how the rear tail lights look or that rear trunk piece. It just looks like a like a one of those stingrays. This should have the 500 in it, I believe. And we have an old truck right next to it. Look at this. That's actually a pretty good bucket. That's not bad. All metal. These things are worth some money right here. Oh yeah, look at that. It's not even that bad. We have this monster Ford right here that you wouldn't even think was a monster. But these things came with the 429 that barely anybody know about. It takes a lot to make them make a lot of power, but I wonder how many years that boom's been sitting up like that. In the center of the yard, there's a treasure trove of just old pickups. Look at these. So cool. That F1 right there, man, that'd be cool. Put a, like a supercharged, somebody's gonna think I'm gonna say an LS, but a coyote in it. Woo! I think it would be nasty. This old Ford water truck. That is cool. That'd be cool to just like put a hood on it, put something in and drive it around like that. Well, obviously wind windows and you know, stuff like that. Dairy Farms, Roswell, New Mexico. Can't believe it got all the way here. That thing's cool. I wonder if the last thing it hauled was dairy and it's been fermenting in that tank for 50 years. Look at this old little weird like El Camino looking thing. DGE. Is that what it says? DGE. That's crazy looking. I like how the fenders go. It's like a, I wonder if it was originally a truck or if somebody made it into a truck. Cause it, it almost looks like they just added and welded in that box. Look at this old International Scout. This thing would be cool with some like 37s on it. Fix all the rust and just like almost leave it exactly the same as it is. Probably get rid of that I-beam front bumper. But it almost looks like it was pretty lifted with the leaf springs. It's just all flat tires. Oh, look at this thing. Look at this station wagon right here. That's cool. Look at that, man. Some more stuff, old truck right there. Old school bus. A bunch more like old pickup box turned into a trailer. We got another old truck right here. Look at this. Pretty clean. I mean, for the most part, that cab is like really straight. Has the frame. Oh yeah. That cab is a winner right there. And the box isn't that bad either. And we have a bunch of old stuff over here. Buicks, Fords. I think that's an old Celica up there. I'm gonna go check it out. Except I have to risk my life with rattlesnakes. Look at this old Dodge service truck before we get to the Celica. Yeah, it is a Celica. Oh my. Look at this. This thing is cool too. 200. What engine do you think it's packing in here? A big 440? Is that an old oil bath carb? I think it is. Man, this is an oldie. Six volt, old oil bath carb. Whew. Nice sheet metal. It's not even that bad. The hood's not bad. The struts or the springs still work really good. The roof isn't all smashed in. This side isn't bad at all. The fender has a little dent. 
This fender is uh, a little bit worse off, but I'd say for the most part, the cab is probably perfectly fine. Needs a fender, fix the other fender a little bit. Hood looks perfectly straight. Still has all the emblems. Look at that. Mm -hmm. This grill is like immaculate. Just needs to be refinished. Oh man, look at this. It looks like it had a sticker up here. It said something right here. Store, something store. This old Celica. I didn't even think there's any of these out here or I would have told Sarah. Tail lights on this thing look really good. It has the badges on the side. Mm hmm. It has badges on the side. It has like mud flaps. I wonder if somebody made those. Both badges, yeah. It has the mirrors that Sarah deleted. Let's see inside. It's locked, unfortunately. So is the engine. I think everything's probably inside of it. it has good glass. Oh, well, rear glass, the roof smashed in. But yeah, I'm gonna tell her about the tail lights and uh, maybe some other parts you might need. Found some beetles over here that aren't in that bad a condition. It looks like they've been sitting over here and not moved in a very long time. Look at that over there. That old Ford truck. Airline 500. Engine's all smashed in there from the accident. Might still be good. Oh, look at that little wagon right there. It's kind of cool. Or is that a Suburban? I can't tell. I have Creeper Van Corner over here with all the vans stacked up. Some newer El Caminos over here. And then also some older trucks. And then some decently really old trucks. Look at that. Still a flathead V8 in there. The grill looks like it used to be good, except something got pushed into it. The cab. That door looks like it has a little rust. The cab looks like it has just a little bit of rust. And then I think all the fenders are in the bed of the truck with another hood and the lights are on the fenders. I've got an old boat right here. It's not an older Camaro, is it? I'm not sure what tail lights these are. Man, it doesn't look too bad. Whatever it is, it has some rust. No, it's it's a Pontiac. Maybe it's a uh, like a GTO. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is. It's a Pontiac GTO. I can't really tell. I guess somebody on the video will probably know if this is a Pontiac GTO. I think it is. It has a Pontiac emblem. It just has boxes and boxes of stuff. I think that's a Cummins 12 valve right there, just laying there on the ground with the turbocharger. Bunches of engines that are just like super unorganized. Who knows what was what's what? Look at that. Is that a aluminum cam gear? That's an aluminum cam gear. That's crazy. Looks like a Subaru tra transmission. All this stuff, all these engines are probably good because they came out of just wrecked cars. This thing's cool. It'd be cool to fix this Chevy up because those are getting really desirable. I mean, the four wheel drive ones, people lift them, like fix them all up, and then they sell them for like $100,000 with like a newer Duramax or Cummins or any kind of swap that's newer, lifted, upgraded, just crazy how expensive those things are getting and there's just one chilling right there there was a bunch of cool old cars at the tow yard and i accidentally bought way too many of them so i think i think i bought like eight vehicles while i was there but there are a bunch of cool stuff that i'm really excited about getting back up and running it's crazy how many good cars how many good parts how many good emblems just how much good stuff is out there that's been sitting forever. So if you like these videos, make sure to click the subscribe button, throw a thumbs up, throw a comp below. As always, see you guys next time.